Hello and welcome to my Titanfall 2 modding tutorial. In this I am going to show you a variety of different things you can do to customize the game to your liking. As a disclosure, this is only possible on PC and might get you banned. As far as I know, there are no reported cases of anyone getting banned for this, but it's possible. Some people might see some of the mods as cheating, so be cautious of that. I don't want to waste any more time, so let's get started. In the video, the following things will be shown. Writing and using an auto exec or custom CFG. Using pre-made mods like no hot toggle, the injectable camera, ice pick and the mod dump, and WPK modding. The basics, advanced and my personal custom WPK mods. Timestamps can be found in the description alongside important links to forward you to needed websites for downloads and such. Now to the first point, writing a custom CFG. This is the only quote unquote legal part of this video. Custom auto exits are allowed in pretty much every competitive game and setting. Using them allows you to make slight adjustments the game's UI might not provide you with. Down below you can find a link forwarding you to a website with all sorts of different comments you can use in a CFG. To start, writing your own CFG open up notepad. And now write your desired comments in there. Save the file as all files and name it autoexec.cfg. Make sure you go into properties and set it to read only. This now goes into Titanfall 2 slash r2 slash cfg. To make it work you have to go into your advanced launch options and origin and type in plus exec autoexec.cfg. You may notice I also have windowed and no border in here. This is because I like to tab out a lot and tabbing out may cause your game to crash with this error. If this looks familiar you might want to switch off full screen as well. But anyways, this auto exec changes certain things in documents respawn Titanfall 2 local. Once your setting.cfg file and also your video config.txt file. If you want to undo the things your CFG did, you can just empty those two files or delete the desired comments out of them and they will return to default. This is my CFG. There is a lot of unnecessary stuff in here. The only five viable comments are FPS underscore max zero, which uncaps the frame rate of the game. It also makes the game run less smooth, feel overall worse, it might make you lag severely for other people. I do not suggest using it, I'm just showing you your options here. For future reference you also have to remove this if you want to use camera mod because it lags on free cam. Mad underscore sky underscore color and mad underscore sun underscore color. This changes the in-game color for the game, as you can see in these screenshots. The respective keybind is in the top left corner so you can see what mode looks like what. You can play around with different color values yourself and you can find out what you like. All my videos are recorded on the setting of F8, just so you have an idea. Post Cycler. This shows you the name, angle and velocity of your player. It looks like this in game and it's just a neat thing to have, I really like this. FPS Cycler. Shows your frame rate, tick in the walls and some other stuff. A really nice accurate frame rate display. Mid underscore disable underscore bloom 1. This disables bloom and makes a huge difference as you can see in these screenshots. So yeah, that is pretty much the most important part of the auto exec. As I said in the beginning, you can find a link to a list of comments down below. Now to the second part, using pre-made mods, starting with the no hot toggle. This mod is straightforward, it removes all hot elements with the click of a button, but it can also make them reappear since it's a toggle. Which is a tremendous advantage to no hot mods that are done with VPKs, because you would have to switch out the VPK every time and restart the game to play with other hot. This way you can just toggle it on and off whenever you want. As always you can find the respective link for the website you can download it from in the description. It is really easy to install and the readme included in the zip explains you how to do it, so I don't have to explain it to you. Now to the camera mod. 
This is what people like Randy use to make cinematics with. This allows you to hop in a private match with some friends and record some amazing free cam footage. As a disclaimer, you are injecting third party code into your game. Using this in a multiplayer match is most likely going to have consequences. I do not endorse using it outside of single player matches. For this reason, I am not going to show you how to set it up or download it. Put in the description you are going to find a link to Randy's video in which he explains himself how to download, install, set up and use the tool. The next cool mod is Icepick. This is what I personally use to record cinematics, since it's completely safe to use it. Launching the game over this application limits you to single player use only. This is why people like Randy use the injectable cam for cinematics since they can record free cam footage on private matches with their friends and hence make more engaging and special cinematics. But the main focus of Icepick is the custom gauntlet feature which allows you to run and build custom gauntlet courses. Renato has a very nice video showing all the features of it. You can find a link to that video in the description down below right under the Icepick website. Now to pre-made VPKs. I'm going to specifically refer to this mod dump, which is also linked below. Chem has an exclusive variety of different pre-made VPK mods. The process of installing these is the same on every pre-made VPK mod. Only the specific folders or the general VPK which is modded varies. You're going to understand how to install these after watching the VPK modding part of this video. I apologize if this does not really fit in order. But now to the complicated part, VPK modding. If you read Reddit, read about this, then hear me talk about it. And also want a fairly comprehensive list of specific mods you can do, you might want to check out the link in the description linking to Wanty's guide on GitHub. Another thing, if you are not comfortable with doing this sort of modding yourself, send me a PM on Discord. We can open a screen share where I teach you one on one what to do and also assist your life and give your instructions. Don't hesitate on asking, I really love helping people out how to do this. But anyways, let's start with the basics. Make a folder called Titanfall Modding or something similar anywhere in your PC. This is to get some structure into the work process. Now go to origin games slash titanfall2 slash vpk and make a backup of the following files. I would suggest you to put it in a folder called Backup inside the previously made modding folder. Also make a folder called Extract with date and time and the name, as well as a repick folder with the exact same. You want to put these in your modding folder as well. Now go to the description and download the VPK tool provided in the corresponding link. Once you have installed this tool, open it up and look at what VPK you need to open to do your desired VPK mod. For this example, I'm going to change the crosshair and also the weapon position of the DMR. So what we are going to extract is the VPK called English Client MP underscore common. It is really important that you don't extract from your backup. Always extract from the directory Titanfall 2 slash VPK. To extract, you press the symbol up top here. Now select your desired VPK. Once selected, go to this symbol up here and select Extract All. Search for your modding folder. In here, you previously made the folder titled Extract with a date and time. Select this and click OK. Now your file is extracting into the folder. Once this process is done, it will look something like this. As mentioned, I'm going to change things on my DMR. To find this, I'm going to go to Scripts slash Weapons and then to mp underscore weapon underscore dmr. This is only for the tutorial, depending on what you want to do, this might be completely irrelevant. I would suggest you skip to this timestamp if you want to learn how to repack and swap VPK mods. The extraction process is done here. At first, I'm going to change the crosshair of the dmr. For this, I'm going to press Ctrl F and search for crosshair underscore 1. The active crosshair at the moment is the one UI slash crosshair underscore sniper underscore amped. I would like to replace this already existing one with the one of the wingman elite. I am going to replace sniper amped with wingman N like this. Additionally, I would like to change the gun position. 
to do this I'm going to press Ctrl F again, but this time search in the direction up and search for mp underscore base. What you want to do is start behind this bracket, press enter once, then press tab twice. Now you want to add in parentheses view model underscore offset underscore hip. Press enter once, tab once, and then add in parentheses the values you want your gun to be at. The order of the coordinates is x, z, y. A positive x value is going to move the gun to the right, a negative one is going to move the gun to the left. Z means a positive value is going to move the gun forward, and a negative one is going to move the gun backwards. Y means a positive value is going to move the gun up, and a negative value is going to move the gun down. Now that I am done with that, I am saving the file and I am going to repack the VPK now. To do so, go back to your VPK tool and select this icon. In the line here, you want to select the extract file inside your modding file. In the line below, select the repack file you made in the beginning. If you have selected the right files, you can proceed and build the VPK. Once this process is done, it will look something like this. You need to rename both these files. Now that the files are renamed, you can copy and paste them into the title for 2 slash vpk. Replace the already existing ones and you are done. You may now launch the game and hope it doesn't crash. In the unlikely event that it does crash, don't break a sweat. Just go into your backup folder, copy and paste the files in there and replace them with the files in titanfall 2 slash vpk. That is why we made the backup. If it does not crash, I would still advise you to load up a private match at first to test out if everything is as desired and works properly. Now to advanced VPK modding. I would classify working with VTF edit as advanced VPK modding, since we require an external program to convert VTF files into a PNG, which you can then edit and reconvert into a VTF. Monty's guide explains this beautifully. I just want to mention it in here so you get a basic idea. Now to the last part of the video. My personal VPK mods and settings. Ironically enough, I don't have many VPK mods. The only VPK mod I use is the gun on the left mod, where I change the view model position of the gun. And I also have a CFG in here to have a different lightning config and a more accurate frame display as well as a velocity display. But that's basically it for the mods I personally use. These are my settings. As you can see, I mentioned already in the beginning, I play on windowed mode, on the borderless window, because I had problems with the game crashing when tabbing out. Then also I play on 110 FOE. I have the colorblind mode Trey Tanopia on. Resync is of course disabled. I like to use 8x MSAA anti-aliasing. I just feel like it adds less motion blur for some reason, which is something I enjoy. I also have motion blur reduction on my monitor itself. I have a RTX 2080 Ti, so I can use the insane texture streaming budget of 8GB VRAM. I can also basically play the game on the highest settings, as you can obviously tell. I would not suggest you copying these settings unless you have a high-end PC like myself. Thank you a lot for watching this video. I hope I could help you out and guide you into the world of modding. If you have any questions or require help, just PM me on Discord. I'm happy to jump on a screen share and help you out. Also, if you have specific modding wishes that are not in the guide, let me know. I will ask around in the community and maybe someone knows how to do it. But anyways, thank you a lot for watching. I hope you have fun with modding.